Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to the Real Legend of Gaming. We are here with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, the gameplay trailer number two released today, and we are going to check that out. We're going to see some actual gameplay the first time since they originally announced the game. So let's watch this, folks. Nice. Charlie putting it in work. Ooh. That was definitely upgraded. Cool. I like that. Dang. Try to put it in work. Oh, let's go. Hawkeye and Chris now. Oh, you saw that flamethrower? <laughs> nice. That super was sick. This is what I want to see. Ultron. <laughs> Yo. That was hot. Okay, so we finally get to see these Infinity Stones. Check this out. Wow. <laughs> that was hot. Okay, okay, I see you guys. That was definitely sick. Again, releasing September 19th. Pre-order now. So just like in another video, Deluxe Edition comes with the six DLC characters, premium costumes, and that beautiful Collector's Edition. I want it. So there you go. That was the trailer right there, folks, man. Pretty awesome. I'm definitely digging out some of the additions they made. And for sure, um, I like the supers that have been upgraded. Uh, we saw Hulk Super, very different than it was before. We finally saw some gameplay from Ultron. I thought it was cool that they brought in um, his mini Ultrons as well. You know, that's something that was very important in the comics. So, being able to see him incorporated into the special moves is pretty cool. And also to see a Super with it. And we finally saw one of the Infinity Stones, the Space Stone. So, it looks like... As soon as it's summoned, you get trapped in this box and you just cannot get out and you're stuck there to get attacked. So that's pretty crazy. I'm curious to see how the other stones play, but so far, just that whole element being added should be able to create a different type of strategy with the Marvel vs. Capcom series. And I totally see this being um, an opportunity to grab new players that... We're scared of playing this game before because it might have been too difficult. It does seem like the supers might be a little bit easier to pull off. And if they're not, with the Infinity Stones, you, you know, you have a chance to recover the match if you're able to summon that. So I can definitely understand the perspective and the reasoning for adding all these elements into it. The 2v2 looks pretty awesome as well. Uh, I was a little thrown off first when I first heard about it, but... Seeing how the players uh, mesh pretty well together during that crossover combination, that was pretty sick. So, uh, folks, you know, that was a short trailer. It was about two minutes. Uh, there's also some league gameplay online. Uh, it's about five minutes. Um, there's a couple websites that had it. It leaked on Reddit, I believe. Uh, the reason why I'm not showing it in this video, I just don't think the graphics in that leaked trailer look too good. Um, it made the game look almost like a PS3 um, release. Or even like a fancy iPad game or Android tablet. So, you know, it's leaked for a reason. I don't think it does the Marvel vs. Capcom series any justice. So, I'm not going to feature it. But if you want to see more of the moves and stuff, you know, go ahead and check it out. It's all over online. And, you know, that should be, you know, a little bit of insight on how some of the other moves play as well. So, folks, as always, thanks for watching. Please drop and hit that subscribe button for more updates for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. 
and for all the great titles as well. Peace out. Thank you. You guys rock.